Hi, it's me, Lori, with the ABCs of Movement, and I want to share with you dollar store finds with standards in mind. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to come up with games and activities for your young children that work on a lot of developmental indicators. I recently wrote a blog post about it, and you can find it at abcsofmovement.com. I wanted to share some of them with you today. Cookie sheets and magnetic alphabet letters or numbers. You can buy cookie sheets and the magnets at the dollar store and you can do all sorts of different things with them. You can group them by color. You can spell out the alphabet. For older children, you may be able to have them find the letter that starts with their name and possibly even with a model, spell out their name. And you can also get magnetic numbers that you could use for some basic math activities. Magnetic alphabet letters and the cookie sheets can be found at the dollar store. Another dollar store find are beach balls. I love turning beach balls into active learning games. They, you can work on so many standards using beach balls. So the beach ball game that I created now, mind you, I did use the ABCs of movement cards when I came up with the activity, but you don't necessarily have to. I wrote the ABCs of movement, a few of the movements on a beach ball with the alphabet letters. And then we get in a big circle and we toss the beach ball. And then when you catch it, whatever's facing you, you identify the letter and what it says and I usually have to tell them alligator march. So we played beach ball, then we would find the alphabet card, and then we would all march like alligators in our area. Using a beach ball from the dollar store, we just worked on early literacy skills, we worked on turn taking, we worked on um, some listening, following directions, all of that social emotional learning that is so very important while we are working on our physical development. Something else that you can find at the dollar store to work on early learning is hoops, hula hoops. These hula hoops are only a dollar and you can work on so many early learning concepts. I have a post that's called Hoop Hoop Hooray and in it I talk about all the early learning that can be achieved using hula hoops. Especially nowadays, hula hoops make very good um, boundaries that we might need for social distancing. So if everyone was in their hoop doing activities, we would all maintain our social distancing. I love sensory play. So I was so excited to find rice and wooden alphabet letters at the dollar store and these amazing tongs. Now the thing about tongs, tongs are wonderful because if you think about it, that movement right there is the same thing that children need to do when they are using scissors. It's that opening and closing of their fingers and all that fine motor control. So the activity is you find, you get a container that I also purchased at the dollar store, put rice in it, put the wooden letters or whatever letters you have and use the tongs. Everyone would take turns reaching in and pulling out a letter. Whoever pulled out the letter identifies that letter if they can, if not, they can have some friends help them. And then everyone does that movement. And again, you would find your ABCs of movement cards and you would look for the here it is, the letter E, and E is for elephant stomp. So on the fronts of the cards, it has real pictures and the movement, and on the backs, it has all the early literacy that you could use. You don't have to, but if you want to. So listen to this alliteration. Enormous elephant stomp elegantly towards the entrance. Whew, wasn't that wonderful? So we're gonna put our hands together, and then you're gonna stomp like this, stomp and then everyone would stomp either in their spaces or they would stomp around the room and they're going side to side with their elephant trunk and that's crossing the midline. That's so important for young learners. Yes, 
The ABCs of Movement Cards are not available at the dollar store. You can purchase them online at abcsofmovement.com and they're very reasonably priced. You can use them for so many different activities. Another fun sensory activity that I love are sensory bags. There's a lot of different ways you can make sensory bags. One way is get, I recommend getting freezer bags because those are thicker and more durable. And you put two different color of paint in the bag and then you seal it up tight. I took an extra measure and I put duct tape around it. And then kids can knead the, the paint and make the colors mix. So it's basically messy-less finger painting. I took it another step by adding hair gel and I also found these foam letters at the dollar store. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me hold up something so you can, if you can see it. And I traced around the letters and that way the children would have to move the different foam letters up to where I traced them with a marker. Now, a little tip for you is a lot of times you buy bags and it has like blade or whatever on, on the bag already and you don't really want that on there. All you need is fingernail polish remover and a cotton ball and you take that and it takes it right off. Those are just a few of my ideas for active learning using items from the dollar store.